Alright, first job is to take this off, a couple of screws, and you can indeed see that the glass is correct. I'm sure it's in. Yes, it's in two pieces. So we're going to need a new one of those for sure. Boiler also looks like it could do with cleaning out, so we'll maybe look at that. That's uh, job one. Now if you can see, don't know if you can see in there, but the boiler is pretty gummed up, so that'll need to clean out. Um, and uh, I think the next thing to do is um, perhaps take off the cylinders and have a look. So, decided to try something else before I complete this mount. Let's try running on a bit of compressed air. And... Basically, it'll run backwards. As you can see, there's a massive leak if you try and run it forwards, but it will run backwards. So we've definitely got a problem with the uh, reversing valve, I would say is the main issue of leakage. So to get the reversing valve, it looks like I've got a take the smoke box off which is riveted in places uh, anyway or completely disassemble the cylinders anyway either one's going to achieve the same job so might as well do both I think right so I've just undone all of the screws for the first cylinder and you can see how the Gasket forms a steam passageway. I'm sure, it's supposed to be like that, but it looks kind of gunked up with oil. The piston itself feels it feels pretty tight, actually. What it does feel. Pretty tight. So the left one. Right, so where were we? <clears throat> I finished completely dismantling the uh, the engine, including the smoke box. Which you have to drill drill the rivets, um, and I have cleaned the valve, back to the valve. I'm about to, I'm looking at the pistons and uh, and the cylinders and they're really, they're really quite catchy, you know, they're really, you know, not smooth at all. So, I am going to lap the surfaces uh, of the uh, cylinders clean and reassemble. I've ordered uh, a set of new o-rings so I'm gonna clean everything and reassemble it with o-rings and uh, I need to clean the boiler. But uh, first, first things first let's uh, lap the uh, cylinders. Cylinder part obviously you undo the central sprung screw that part's obvious and then you need to get it on an edge like this, these uh, end caps are simply pressed on, and then for the first one, you need to knock the piston down, which will pop off the first one. And then the second one is a bit more tricky. You need to get it on that edge again, so that obviously you're not supporting the end cap. Um, and then you need to get some sort of a small drift 
make sure it's on the centre of the um, piston rod. And you do the same again, just a sharp, a sharp knock. And it should pop out. There we go. Piston lands nicely into a box, never to be found again. So there we go. That's just how simple it comes apart. I'm just inspecting and cleaning and uh, I don't think there's anything really, these pistons are quite a nice fit. So here I'm going to lap the second cylinder. This one has definitely got a little burr on it somewhere and you know you can also see the machining is not, just not all that fantastic. So, Probably a bit leaky. Just a figure of eight, twelve hundred paper, wet and dry. And a very flat surface. Removed the machining marks. successfully removed the burrs. You see this one needs a lot less because it's smaller surface area. Gasket surface. We're done.
Right, so I have had a few tar uh, parts turn up, which I need to start reassembling, such as the sight glass, uh, but there are others I still need, such as seals and O-rings, which have not yet arrived. So the per what I'm going to want to do today is test the original pressure relief valve. Just see what pressure it's going off at. Uh, are we uh, even holding pressure and possibly adjust it? So first of all, you see here we have a very low range pressure gauge, only goes up to 15. So what we can see is this pressure relief valve is leaking at any pressure, even just 4 or 5 psi, so that's definitely a problem. Going to need to replace the o-ring and clean it up perhaps. But I would say That it's really releasing at about 10, fully open at 15. I'd probably like to raise that a little bit. But definitely another leaky part of the engine, and this engine's been very leaky everywhere. So hopefully, we're going to resolve all of these different problems one by one. So I've carefully taken this apart, taken the O-ring off, and I'm just going to lap the surface, surfaces. And as you can see, you can see on there, there's the ring where it's just corroded the line, which is probably why it's not sealing. There we go. I don't quite know how I'm going to do the other bit, but maybe just a bit of wire wall. Oh, here's how I'm going to do the other bit. I'm going to do the, bit, the other bit like this. And clean these bits up. Right, job done. Okay, so after a considerable amount of lapping, I now have a safety valve which holds pressure up to 15 <laughs> now if I close the valve can't hear anything leaking whatsoever. Doesn't mean to say that it isn't, but she sounds good. <laughs> oh.
I don't know why, but that just has put just an absolutely enormous smile on my face. Look at that. Just loosely fitted the boiler heat shield, and I've, I've made an, ex, an extended exhaust steam pipe that comes actually up into the chimney. Not sure if that's a good idea, but I fancied it. And uh, so the next thing is the boiler. Which I hope if I've got the right everything in the right order. I think I'm getting everything in the wrong order. Will it fit? Ah, oh, yes, yeah, sorry, it does fit after. I think. Go on, please fit. So a little bit jiggery pokey. I've got the boiler back on, the adjusted safety valve. Nothing's fixed yet. Um, as we saw, it runs on air, so it should run on steam as long as we haven't got any leaks. Uh, I've still got the sight glass to do. Where I had to drill these rivets, I've got to find some fixings. Um, there's not a lot left to do, and we're going to be ready for a test steaming. To, so I'm just about to replace the steam chest, and I'm again just making a little. I'm making. I'm just about to make, replace the steam chest, but again, I'm making little revisions along the way. Like this wasn't originally siliconed. But this originally all leaked like a sieve, so I don't know how old this is. This is an SL1, the first version. I'm told it's sat in a garage for 20 years, so it's at least 20 years old. So. Place some of these gaskets for, uh, for O rings as well. I just think it'll. I could be completely wrong about that, but I think it'll get a better seal. It's only uh, 25 psi, so I can't see them blowing out or anything. I can't see that being an issue. So I've got an O ring there, O ring there, O ring there. We shall see. I could. Could be another decision I live to regret. Okay. So, I have flushed the boiler with boiling water. Previously flushed it with uh, vinegar. But it looked pretty messy in there. I don't know if that's really cleaned it up. So I'm going to silicon the seal on the eyeglass as well. I'll find out uh, pretty shortly if this has all been a bad idea. With the silicon. It's obviously high temperature uh, instant gasket.
Now I did consider running two glasses on top of each other as soon as I've increased the pressure. And then I decided perhaps not to bother. Now some models they've they've gone and uh, riveted this for cheapness and well, you know what a pain every time the sight class goes having to drill rivets. So I'm quite glad in this case. Ah, now I can see that the seal is just completely. Yeah, it's completely gone crazy inside, so I'm going to have to do something. So the seal is coming off slightly too big. It's squeezing in, so I think my best bet is actually to fit it and let the silicone go off. Hold it in place and then fix the glass on. Tomorrow. And also possibly no silicon on the glass. It's very slippery silicon, so... See how it's bending into the middle. We'll let that go off, and then the silicon will stop it moving. I hope. Right then, ladies and gentlemen, she is mechanically assembled. Apart from, I need to, where I've drilled the pot rivet, so I'm going to put some screws, and there's a couple of, there's the front buffer bar I haven't screwed on yet. I want to, I want to, before I uh, go too, too far, I want to test her under steam. I've got the sight glass in, that was a bit of a fiddle. Um, boiler's flushed out. She's all lubed up, cleaned up, and uh, so I'm going to go, let's go water her. Exciting moment. This will be the second steaming, but uh, obviously first one was a complete failure. This one, I'm hoping it's going to be success. I really need to get one of those pointy things for lighting. Right to light. Well 
Well, if you put uh, hot water in, so yeah, I can already see a bit of a problem insofar as the burner isn't going in quite right. So I've got a little bit of a assembly adjustment to do there. So far, just showing a bit of a leak. Oh, it's got a bit of condensation in there. <laughs> Off she goes. <laughs> oh, look at that. <laughs> Wicked, she's a runner. Might have a little bit of a steam leak at reversing valve because it's getting a bit hot there. One last little steam leak to deal with, I think. Here we go, first one in 20 years. She's off. Oh, she's a rocket. Finally, 20 years. Whoa, we nearly had a crash. 20 years in a garage. She's now making steam. She just needs... She's got a little steam leak, as you can probably tell, coming up from the firebox. It's the last thing that we've got to do uh, before any paint work. It's just the main steam pipe going into the O-ring on the uh, reversing gear. There she is, look at that. 
running off off 20 years. Beautiful. So in the next video, uh, which will, won't be for probably a couple of months now, um, I'm going to start on the modifications and um, that will be, I'm going to fit a, uh, a meth burner, uh, upgraded pressure gauge, um, what else? I'm going to try and fit a oiler with regulator, and at some point I'm going to make it radio control, but that'll be oh, a couple of videos on. As you can see, I've got a couple of other videos in the brewing. Got a uh, roller and a traction engine and a steam crane which I shall be uh, steaming up in the coming weeks. <laughs>